to Totally Leads Live. It is Friday. I don't know what day we're on, but I think it's St. Patrick's Day, isn't it? It's the 17th of March. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hello to Janice. She's put, I'm not an earring person, but I can make an exception for those, which is lovely to hear. And that's what we're going to be making today. I'm going to be showing you how to make they are fast, they are easy, little hoop statement earrings, little bit of wire, some absolutely beautiful chain, pearl, crystals, have gone the whole shebang, and they are very, very lovely. We've got lots of lovely colours for you today. We've also got an absolute bargain, and there's lots of different things that you can do with them as well. I'm going to show you how to make this particular style, but you can change them up and you can do what ever you would like to do. Hello to Lucy. She says, good morning, my little gem. Good morning, Natalie. And everybody says, Mina. Hello to Carol. Good morning to Francis. Hello to Elaine. Hello to Claire. And good morning to Sue. And hello to Nicole. Nicole, absolutely loving what you did with the necklace design. Was it Laurel? Is that what we called it? Where we used the um, jump rings to make a pendant. Nicole, once again, has took the idea, absolutely ran with it and made the most beautiful, beautiful necklace. It's gorgeous. Hello to Joy. Good morning to Hannah. Hello to Christy. She's put good morning, everybody. And Natalie, hello to Helen. She says, love to watch you, but we'll watch it on catch up, hopefully with subtitles. I'll speak slower then. I've had a bit of a morning today. Um, it's been a week, to be honest, I'm sure. Um, as Camille's saying, have I come down to earth? Yeah, no. Um, Monday was a whirlwind of a day. I had um, my little boy who'd been sick at the weekend, so he had to go to Nanny's. So I was home ready for the live with you. Then in the afternoon, um, I've been in a competition and I was about to find out the result of the competition on Monday. Had quite a lot of technical issues and couldn't actually get on to the kind of live broadcast. And did finally get on via wonderful telephone technology. And I didn't know I had been announced the winner. So if I looked um, a bit gormless, more so than usual. And I didn't say thank you. I do apologize for that. I didn't know. Um, but I want to take this very quick moment before we start to say thank you to every single one of you. We had thousands of votes apparently, and I think I owe an awful lot of that to my Totally Beats family. Um, thank you so much if you voted for me. And if you didn't, thank you so much for just watching me here. You've given me enough confidence to just enter the competition in the first place, let alone win. So the prize is that I have designed a beautiful collection of beads and they are um, currently being made and they will be available, which is just absolutely crazy. And uh, no, it's absolutely not sunk in yet. We went to um, the caravan, my husband, my son and myself on Tuesday after he finished school. Um, his school was on strike for a couple of days. So we booked that um, good few weeks ago, really, just to celebrate his birthday in um, a couple of weeks time. And it was just um, lovely just to kind of switch off. I mean, the Lake District is beautiful. The weather wasn't great. Um, I got wet, but I got to hug a tree, I got to be in nature, I got to just play board games with him and have really much needed family time. So I don't quite know what day we're on. We're back. He's back in school. I've got a Mother's Day event this afternoon, which I'm very much looking forward to. And I just, I, I don't, I don't know where I am or who I am at the moment, but I'm here with you and I'm so excited to be here. Um, let me see what I've missed in the comments. I've got loads of you in, which is absolutely lovely. Good morning to Helen. Um, good morning to Nicole. Hello to Camille. Hello to Debbie. Good morning to Elaine. Hello to Smartfish. Put good morning, everybody, from a cold and overcast Wolverhampton. It's really sunny here today. Um, hopefully there'll be no shadows on my map, but if I do have to 
get through the obstacle course of stuff in this room to close the curtains. I will do. Good morning to Ollie Omni. How are you doing? Hello to Tracy. Thank you very, very much. Good morning to Angela. Hello to Wilma. It's a sunny morning, um, says Wilma. It's lovely here today. Honestly, yesterday, maybe it was just the Lake District, but it was torrentially raining. We got absolutely drenched. Good morning to DIY Dream Wedding UK. Hello to Janice. Thank you so much. Um, thank you very much, Christy. Um, thanks. I really appreciate that, Lucy. <laughs> Good morning to Nicole. Hello to Janice. Um, hello to Joy. Love you too, Mina. Hello to Anne. Hello to Tutu. Um, Christine is saying um, happy Mother's Day. It's this Sunday, I think. I don't know where the days are going. How are we this far into March? Good morning to Gwen. Um, yeah, I know in America it's different, isn't it, when you celebrate Mother's Day. Um, but for us in the UK, I think it's this Sunday. Um, so yeah, need to get myself busy and need to get sorted. Good morning again to DIY Dream Weddings who says it's wet here today. Where are you watching from in the UK? Um, as I say, beautiful sunny weather today here in Merseyside. I don't know what the weather is playing at but we seem to have all seasons in like a week. Smoffy says uh, you need to send the sun this way. No, I'm going to keep hold of it just a little bit. Right, I'm going to take you over to the website, which is totallybeads.co.uk, and you can see the gorgeous earrings that we are making today. Um, yes, Claire, I absolutely agree. She says she's sending love to anyone who might find Mother's Day difficult. So if you are without your mum, if you um, have whatever it is that you're feeling on Mother's Day, we're just sending you loads of love anyway. Um, Mina says, Mina, are you going to the school to have lunch with your boy? I'm not going to, to lunch. They're doing, um, you can't tell me it's a surprise, but we've been invited in and he was a little bit upset this morning that he couldn't remember his song. So I think I'm being serenaded, which is, is going to be lovely. Um, Angela says, in Scotland, we've got all seasons in one day. Diane says, it's sunny just outside of Manchester. Um, and yes, Christy, I absolutely will. I'll keep you posted on that. Um, Janice has already ordered here, so let's go over to the website and you can see what we're making today. They are really, really lovely and very straightforward to do. So head over to totallybeads.co.uk and scroll your way into the video tutorial category. So you can see what the earrings They are doing, they are making the they are big and dangling. We've got fallers. I'm just wondering, am I missing one? No, I've got four on my stand as well. So we've got the amethyst grape, we've got coffee, we've got gold rush, and we've got these beautiful ones here, which is an opal dark teal, which is showing is out of stock already. Ooh, I don't know whether we can get that updated. Uh, Lucy, could you send Simon a message and see what it is that we're missing? It may just possibly be the colour of the pearl or maybe one of the crystals. Maybe we could change that up. Um, I was going to demo with that one today, actually. Given it being St. Patrick's Day, I thought the kind of greeny ones would, would be a nice one to make. They are only £3.50 each. Don't forget, we ship worldwide, so you can change that currency by just clicking here at the top and drop down that menu. But they are £3.50, or you can get four for ten. Um, obviously, if we are out on that dark teal, <clears throat> they are gorgeous. Um, maybe you want to get an extra of the amethyst or the gold. You don't have to mix and match those colours. All of the findings are going to be the same for you today. I'm using some 0.6 millimetre wire, um, which will be gold. You're going to get, <clears throat> excuse me, gorgeous ear wires, which has got this lovely, beautiful kind of flat tip to them. I'll show you those as well. And look at the chain that we're using. They are beautiful. So into the amethyst grape we go. In your kit today, you're going to make one pair of earrings for £3.50. You're going to get 20 centimetres of that 0.6 millimetre wire, which is going to be more than enough for one pair. You're going to get 
30 pieces of your four by six crystal rondelles, two pieces of your eight millimeter glass pearls. You're getting two pieces of your 50 millimeter gold ball pins and you're getting your jump rings too. I will double check on that for you because there should be two sizes of your jump rings. We're using the six millimeter jump rings and we're using the four by one. So you're only gonna need two of the four by one earrings, uh, jump rings for a pair of earrings. And I'm using uh, four of the six millimeter jump rings for the, um, for the drop where we're going to attach that chain. So when I finish this live, I will just double check with the warehouse to make sure that they are all included in your kit. It may have just been missed off the description there unless I've made an error, which I do apologize to the warehouse if I have, but I'll amend that. So here we have the beautiful earrings. You can see how they look when you're wearing them. They are quite large, but you can do lots of different things using the same components to get a very, very pretty look. So that is your amethyst grape. You've got that beautiful kind of purpley grape pearl, and you've got your gorgeous crystals, which are lovely amethysty purple colour. So the pearl that we're using in the centre is going to be eight millimetres, so it's quite a large one, and your crystals are your four by six. So that is the amethyst grape for a bargain, bargain price of just £3.50. We've also got the coffee, which is gorgeous, a really, really rich, beautiful kind of deep, bronzy brown it's beautiful again everything you need in your kit today to make these gorgeous little earrings up there is wire in them but they are literally just making a frame you couldn't you couldn't use a simpler technique with wire to make these beautiful earrings and i'll talk you through them step by step i'm buzzing i'm assuming that is the warehouse but i can't see my message so just do bear with me and hopefully we can get um anything that may be out of stock back stock for you um we've also got rush which is gorgeous very very glitzy really really pretty and wait till you see this chain this this chain is just beautiful it's fluted heart so i mean it's shaped very much like i would say is it an irish is it called a layer like the harp type thing i mean I don't, that wasn't actually deliberate, but today of all days, I think it's very appropriate. And you can position them how you want. So they are the gold rush. I've been lucky enough to bag them already, but this is the opal dark teal. So you can see how these look as well on my little mannequin. And of course, Everything looks better when worn, but this is them flat on the table. I'm wondering if I can see what it might be that is out of stock in terms of the components. I don't know what it is, but you can see if you have a little look at the bottom, you can see all the different um, type of crystals and the ear wires and things that we're using. I will show you them now down on the mat so you can have a little look. So let me see sharing my screen and let me see what I have possibly missed in the comments um Jackie is saying good morning hello um thank you very much Lucy she's she's chatting to Simon so she will sort it could you also let him know that um there should be some six millimeter jump rings in that kit as well good morning to Pauline she says Natalie and everyone good morning on this dull Friday well happy St Patrick's Day good morning to our lovely Ruth Lucy has shared the link so if you're wondering what are we making how do I get my hands on this kit head over here it's that way that way <laughs> totallybeads.co.uk forward slash facebook dash tutorials forward slash vanessa dash earrings it's a bit of a mouthful today i need to just calm down and just get myself a bit collected good morning to judith um mina saying oh my color um nicole is saying i love that chain it drapes so beautifully off the earrings they're just it's just beautiful i've not used it before and obviously when you're dealing with chain you use it usually thinking necklaces but i wanted to just 
do something a little bit different with them. DIY Dream Wedding says these are lovely. Thank you very much. Um, and I wouldn't, I would definitely agree, Christy. She says I can see how they would make absolutely great necklace pendants. So if you want to multi buy your kits today, you can make one as a little pendant. Ooh. Oh, I'm loving that. And you can also have your matching earrings as well. Let me take you down on the mat. Um, thank you very much, Diane. I appreciate that. Let's take you down on the mat and I will show you the goodies. Obviously, they look better if I just take you back up again. They look better when they're hanging and you're actually wearing them. But I will put them flat on the mat so you can see the beautiful components that we're using. So this is the gorgeous kind of coffee coloured ones. And you can see I'm using a little bit of that chain just to dangle off the top with the smaller jump ring. Very easily just threading those gorgeous crystals onto a little bit of wire and doing a little bit of a loop on the top. I'm dangling off that pearl in the centre and adding those beautiful little bits of chain on the bottom. Um, thank you so much, Lucy. I really, really appreciate it. So you can see here on the chain, they are like little fluted heart shapes, but they've also got these little three kind of etched lines down one side. So they just add in a little bit of texture um, and just something a little bit special. Um, and yes, Angela, they do to me, they look like little harps for turning them that way. That's the Irish symbol, isn't it? Is that not a heart? Oh, that looks like a heart. Camille says, ooh, nice nails. Thank you very much. I've, um, I, I did do a rush job on them, to be honest, because after the stresses of Monday, I, I, I be honest, I nibbled them and I, I, I nibbled them quite short. Um, but these are my kind of branded colours. I have my um, wired jewellery, rock, scissors, paper, and I usually go for these colours on my packaging. So more tying in. So you can see these are the style of the earrings that we're making today, but you can change that up if you want to. If you would rather have the dangly at the top, you could do them that way as well. And you're using exactly the same components. You just, well, you're using a little bit less. So you probably get more out of your kit if you wanted to do them this way. You could maybe get, you know, your pendant out of it. So you could do your pendant this way and you could do your earrings that way. You could do whatever your heart desires. So they are the gorgeous coffee. I'm just going to pop them to the side. This is your beautiful amethyst. Again, really straightforward and easy to do, and you'll make these earrings in no time. So if you are gifting or selling your makes, I think you're definitely going to be able to recoup your um, your money from the kits in this really easily. And we like a quick make from time to time. Sometimes if you're spending hours and hours and hours on something, you can't always charge for your time. Um, but these you most definitely can. I reckon you'll get a pair done in about 15 minutes, if that. So that is your amethyst. <clears throat> this is the beautiful teal, which I am going to demo with for you today. Hopefully we'll be able to get them back in stock for you. So you can see we've got these beautiful, beautiful crystals. If I can just hold that up a little bit closer, you can see the absolute shimmer and shine on those. They've got bits of gold and just the most gorgeous, gorgeous faceted cut on those crystals, which I think is just tying in beautifully with the chain. And of course, that gorgeous teal pearl in the centre, looking pretty as can be on a little ball pin. So that is your teal and your absolutely glitzy, gorgeous gold. All tying in, all looking absolutely beautiful. I am going to pop a pair in so you can see how they look. So if I bring myself back up, you I mean you can make these smaller if you want to. You can change the design if you like. You can do whatever you want with them. But I just think, you know, it's nice to have a statement earring from time to time. Oh, I'm loving them. And considering how long and dangly they are, they are really light. They're not heavy at all. Love them. 
Um, thank you very, very much, Lucy. She says it is updated, ladies and gents. So thank you so much. Um, if I now head back over to the website, totallybeads.co.uk, head into the Vanessa tutorial. If I can refresh go we've got the oak teal back in stock for you you can get them for three pound fifty or you can get four for ten pounds again i think for the absolute you know beauty of these earrings and if i say again if you're selling them how much you'll be able to sell them for i would definitely definitely get that offer and make the most of it for ten aren't they lovely right let's get going let's get making i'll show you just how easy they are to do let's move this stand out of the way and have a little sip of my coffee because i've not had one this morning right so i'm using the 0.6 millimeter wire and i'm gonna cut one length of that for one earring and I'm only going to need nine centimeters so you're going to get 20 centimeters in your kit so we, we give you more than enough you've got plenty again you can make them smaller if you want but I think a nine centimeter loop of those crystals just just fits lovely now the order that I tend to do it in is I make my little dangly chain part first on the six millimeter jump rings because I find rather than trying to squeeze it in between the crystals to attach at the end, I can just thread that on as I'm threading on the crystals. So I'm gonna get my chain out of my kit and you will see it's connected like this. So as I'm gonna put one piece of it on the top as well, just to kind of make a little bit of an embellishment and essentially use that as a jump ring for the ear wire, which I must show you are absolutely beautiful. If I just hold this up, they've got a gorgeous flat part to them here, which I just think adds that little extra bit of elegance. So as I'm gonna use this top bit, I can open up my kind of piece of chain very gently just popping my pliers in between or my fingernail and just slide that open like so get it through the little hole in between the next link and then close that over so i can keep them to the side and i'm going to need two of them if i want to and i'm going to collect three of the little links just slide that back into position i'm going to use three links of three so i'm going to have three pieces of chain with three of those fluted hearts on each one if you want to you can cut it open as well so all i'm going to do we put enough chain in your kit so don't worry about wasting one i'm going to count three links up and then i'm just going to come in with my cutters and just cut through one of those links and again if you want to you can slide it open just to cut at this part here just make sure you're not damaging that link that you want to use you can open it like this and you can slide it off and again just open that up So you can get your links out ready to go. So when I've got three of my chain lengths, I'm just going to get my six millimetre jump ring out and I'm using two of the six millimetre jump rings for each earring. So four in a pair. I'm going to take my pliers and I'm just going to open up my jump ring very carefully, just giving it a little turn towards me or away from me to open it up. I'm only opening it up by a few millimetres, just enough so I can take the tapered part of my little fluted heart just here and I can slide that on to the jump ring. So I'm going to add on three of my chain lengths.
and then I'm going to add on another jump ring as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this one perfectly for now. Slide that onto the open jump ring with the chain on it. And then close it back over. So I'm going to go just past the point where those two parts of the jump ring meet. And then when I let go, it will close perfectly. So as I'm bringing those points together, sometimes if I let go with my pliers, it can move a bit like that. If I take it just past when I let go, it should spring nicely and closed. So I've got my little chain and you can see if I just dangle it on here, it sits really nicely and they face that way, but they also kind of frill out next to each other just beautifully. Um, Angela's saying, a question, can I ask you to open the chain again? I missed it. Yes, of course. So I'm going to get my chain out. I've got a little bit here and I'm going to just take a link off the bottom. So all I'm going to do is just open it up at the end and slide it out. And then I'm going to keep that one, which is perfectly formed. So I can add that to the top of my earring. If I need to, I can cut it. So if I've got a long chain length and I just need my three links. In fact, let me get a little bit more out of my kit so I can show you when there's more than three. I'll get my chain. I will count three links up, one, two, three. So it's the fourth one I'm gonna cut. You can slide it if you want, so you can just cut at this part, or you can just trim just next to it here, just to make sure you're cutting through both sides because it's kind of folded over. I can then unattach that length of chain and then do the same where I'm opening it up just with my nails or with my tools. Just opening up the little bit that we cut. And it might be quite sharp where you've cut it, so do be careful. Opening that up and sliding it out so I've got my three little little links you're most welcome if you need me to go through anything again do just ask that's what we're here for so i'm going to cut a length of nine centimeters from my 0.6 wire and it's really lovely to use this wire so i'm going to take my round nose pliers and i'm going to hold it just at the end if you want you can use your bail step pliers and you can make these loops exactly the same on each earring and on each end if you want to mark with your pliers um like a, on a little marker just a little point where you're turning it you can do or you can just do it by eye so i'm going to go a few millimeters up from the very tip of my round nose i'm going to make sure it's flush and I'm just going to turn all the way around so I've got this little piece shape on the end of my wire. And then I'm going to pop my pliers back in, back in with my round nose. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it a little knock to straighten it up. So I've now got that little eye shape instead of a P. Now I'm going to add on seven of my gorgeous crystals. So easy onto the wire, seven of my crystals. And again, this is just for this design. If you want to do something completely different, you can use the same components and you can get very different looks. So that's four, five, six, seven. Now you can add all 14 crystals onto this if you want to, but I tend to find adding the seven crystals on and then sliding on that jump ring that we've just made our chain on is just a little bit easier than trying to fit it in between but you can do it the other way if you want we want that chain to sit in the middle so i'm just going to add another seven crystals onto the other side So even with quite a large loop at the end, you'll see I've still got plenty of space 
with all of my 14 crystals on one e-ring, just making sure you've got enough on either side so that is sitting in the middle. And then gonna give another loop on the end of this. So I'm gonna give it a little bend to about 90 degrees. And then I'm just gonna trim off a little bit of that wire because I would only really need about a centimeter to turn the loop on the other side. So give it a little, little cut away if it's a bit lengthy. Holding that crystal <clears throat> between my thumb and my finger, back in in the same position with my round nose, just making sure that it's it's nice and flush. So when I start to turn that loop, I can turn all the way around, and then I have two loops on either side. And now I can start to bend that up. So this is going to sit in the middle. So I'm going to work from the middle out and with my fingers, I'm just going to bend it round, making sure if I need to, that I can just twist those little loops so they're facing each other so I can then get my jump ring on. Then you can widen that round and make it a little bit more rounded if you need to. So I've now got this lovely little shape like so. And now it's just a case of attaching that teeny weeny jump ring. So the jump ring that I'm using now, and again, if you wanted to, you can use a larger jump ring. But the jump ring I'm using now is a four by one. So they are smaller. And what I tend to do is I add my jump ring onto this bit and that extra tiny little piece of the chain link that we've used. And then I make the dangle for the center and attach that on. Again, if you want to make your dangle first, you might find that a little bit easier. Can be a little bit tricky to slide that on at the end, but I just think because you've you've only got a small jump ring, so it's this size. If I get the six millimeter out, you can see the comparison with them. I just find it a little bit easy to attach this first. So I'm still going to open it exactly the same as I would with that larger jump ring. I'm just going to come in with my pliers and give it a little twist towards me. They are nice and sturdy. I'm then going to slide that through those two loops here, which is going to bring my earring together. And then with the little piece of chain I'm going to slide that on also so I've got my two loops of my earring hooked in and that little bit of the chain as well and then I'm going to come in with my pliers get a good grip on that and just close it over like so and now I'm going to make my little dangle in the middle of it. So I'm taking my ball pin this time instead of the wire. Angela's saying if you if you only the beads into a U shape and then attach the chain on each side, it would make a lovely necklace. That's a nice idea. So I'm getting my ball pin. It's got a lovely little ball tip finish, which I just think makes it look very pretty. I'm going to add on my large pearl, so my eight millimeter pearl, and then I'm going to add another one of my crystals onto the top. Again, you can add whatever you like into this. I just thought that looked nice. And obviously it's tying in with the colors very nicely. I'm then going to give it a little bend. I've got lots of length on this um, pin. I don't need it all. So I'm going to cut off. Again, leaving around a centimetre, back in with my round nose pliers. So I'm holding that bead, that top bead, that crystal in between my thumb and my finger to stop it kind of moving upwards. Going to give it a little turn to make that little shape. Back in with my round nose, little movements all the way around just to close that over. And if I need to readjust it, I can pop my round nose pliers back in just to make sure it's sitting nicely at the top so it's an eye and not a p-shape now this can be a little bit tricky i'm going to open up my little loop 
and where I'm going to attach it, if I can just widen this out for now, so just pulling it with my fingers, I'm going to attach it here, if you can see where I'm pointing. So it's not going to be on the outer side of these little loops, it's going to fit right in the middle of both of them. So I'm just going to try my best to just open it out, those crystals, just to find a little bit of space. So if you give it a little push away from each other, you can reshape it afterwards. I say it's a little bit tricky. It isn't, but it's going to be a little bit tricky, probably why I'm trying to do it under the camera. So am I in shot? Let's see. Yeah, I think I am. So I'm going to try and move those little hooks out of the way. Those little loops attached to that jump ring. I'm going to push it down. So I'm pushing that ball pin with my thumb just to stop them moving up. And then I'm going to hook it into the middle. Let's see. Can you see where I've hooked that on? So it's sitting in between. And now with my pliers, I'm just going to close that over. Bringing that loop round. Again, if I want to reshape it, I can and I can adjust it really, really easily. I can also get this to hang either way. So it can hang that way or I can just give it a little twist and it will sit in the middle. And now all I have to do is attach my e-ring hook on. So again, I've got these beautiful flat parts to the e-ring hook. I have repositioned my stand because it broke on me on Monday when everything was going not according to plan. So I apologise if I'm I'm not always in shot today. I'm just getting to readjust where my hands and positioning is going under the camera. I'm going to give it a little twist up to open. And then I'm just going to attach it on to the very thin part of the top of that chain. So slide that on. If you need to, you can just open it a little bit wider. Slide it on with ease, back in with my pliers to close it up. And I have my gorgeous little earring ready to go in what, 10 minutes? And, and there you go, you just have to repeat that process so you've got a beautiful pair. If you want to change up your design, um, let, let's do another one, but instead of doing the same, because all you need to do is just repeat that now, you've got two of the same. I'll um, show you how to make one like this. So that's just using the fluted heart chain at the top and then the same process in the middle. So let's move these out the way. So I'm going to need my pearls and my crystal. Should I use... Should I use the gorgeous brown ones? And then I've got a pair there as well, haven't I? So they're just an absolute gorgeous kind of coffee colour. Very rich, very beautiful. Where are my crystals? There they are. So I'm still using 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm just not going to pop the jump ring in the middle to make the dangle this time. So let's get some of these crystals out. Just open up my string. And obviously I've got that one in the middle as well. So it'll be 15 still. There you go. Hello Nadir from Scotland and hello to Edward, how are you doing? Um, Angela's saying I would like the earrings with just a chamber. You can do whatever you want, you're getting plenty of stuff in your kit. So I'm still going to cut 9 centimetres of my 6 millimetre wire. I am going to turn my little loop to begin with. So coming in right at the top, turning it round and then just knocking it straight to reposition. You can, if you want to, do a little wrap loop on this, but I don't think it needs it. They're sturdy enough. I'm now going to add all of my crystals. So if I was making the original design, like this one, I would find it easier to pop my seven crystals on first, 
then my little chain tassel part there on the jump ring and then add another seven crystals on just find it easier than trying to reposition that jump ring in between a space on the um crystals and you can find that once you popped it on like that there's all all the space is already allocated when you come to turn that top loop if that makes sense so you know you you're not left with like a big gap or trying to really squeeze it in between if your crystals are sitting nice and tight because what i will find is when i turn that loop they're sitting really flush together so if i pop my crystals um either side of that jump ring and left the little gap for the jump ring already then that's all as it should be um christy says very versatile and a very beautiful chain joanne says good morning natalie and all late in today we'll re-watch later thank you very much she's wishing me congratulations much appreciated still not sunk in don't feel it's real don't know when it will sink in probably when i actually get my beautiful beads and i get to open them and look at them and think oh my goodness that's come from my head and it's now in my hand so i'm trimming off that little extra bit because i only need a centimeter pushing down holding my crystals in my hand pushing it down with my thumb so it's not moving out the way giving it a little turn so i've got my matching loop on either side I'm also going to make my next little dangle while I'm here. So I'm going to get my ball pin out. Did I add an extra crystal on there? I think I've used my crystal, didn't I? Oh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I did as well. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Could just use the pearl on it. I want it to sit nice and even though. Do I take it off? Yeah, so I'm just going to re-straighten that wire, take the extra pearl uh, crystal off because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Bend that over. So you can see if you make any errors, you need to open it up again. It's, uh, it's really simple to do because I've not made a wrap loop. I can just reopen the loop that I've made in the wire and readjust not the end of the world only took me a few seconds to fix so back on with my pearl and my crystal bending over that eye pin to around a 90 degree bend so when i trim off the excess of my pin and make my little loop it's gonna sit nice and pretty and neat on the top of that pin because I gave it a little bend over first. Thank you very much, Linda. She says, I love the look of the earrings. Very, very elegant. And yes, Carol, I didn't see your comment. You were right. I put the extra on, but I fixed it now. Hopefully I fixed it. Um, so again, I'm going to use the smaller of the jump ring just to attach my chain um, together. So let me just get one out. And this time I'm going to add just one piece of my beautiful fluted heart chain and I'm going to dangle that down the top so it matches. And I'm turning it this way round so they will fit in that kind of heart shape. So again, just going to bend. And if you need to, readjust by just turning those loops so they face into each other. I'm going to open up my jump ring. It's already open a little bit. Just open it up a little bit more. So I'm turning towards me or away from me. You can, if you want to, come in with the thinner pliers. You can, if you want to, link through the loop and attach your dangle on and then the other loop and then the fluted heart chain if you wish just because it's a small little jump ring you might find it a little bit tricky to get it all on 
you might not, you might do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just trying to catch the end of that so my chain fits on nicely. Then hold the top with my pliers and close that jump ring over. Reposition so you've got plenty of space for your little dangle inside of your crystals. And then take another one of your beautiful ear wires, give it a little flick open and attach that onto your chain and close over. So you can see you can get very different looks of your earrings and you've got exactly the same as your components to do whatever you want. You can readjust them, making sure that those circles around those beads are as symmetrical as possible. You can do it this way where you've got your chain dangling off the bottom. They are an absolute bargain price today. You've got four gorgeous colours to choose from. They are three pounds and 50 pence each. But if you want the amethyst grape, the coffee, the gold rush and the opal dark teal, you could get them all four for 10 pounds, an absolute bargain. And a really, really quick make. Look at them, they're just so lovely. I'll put the other ones in so you can see how the ones I've just made look. Um, Linda says she loves them, they are very elegant. Nadia says you could turn the earrings upside for a different design. You absolutely could. You could, you could do whatever you wanted with them. Um, I just think using that fluted heart chain just gives you you know, a little bit of dangly and a bit of room to play with. You don't have to have the chain on them at all. You could just use one of the links and just create them looking like that. I think I prefer them the way that I did them this way round, but then I like a really dangly ring. And I think it makes the most of your bits and bobs in your kit. Um, Lucy says they're so pretty. Thank you for showing us how to do them. You are welcome. That's my job and it's the best job in the world. She's also shared the link again for you today. So you can find your kits here on www.totallybeads.co.uk, Facebook tutorials, and these are the Vanessa earrings. I just think they're really lovely. I'm going out tonight with my sister. I'm going to have um, a meal. We're going out for tea. And I think you'll find I'll probably be wearing these when I go. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. Nicole says they're so beautiful. You're so welcome. Um, I'm glad you enjoyed them. I really, really am happy that you like them. I'm going to be back with you on Monday. I'm making earrings again, I think, with you on Monday. But I'm going to be doing a little bit of chain mail. I think, oh, no, 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 I'm not. I'm telling you, Fibs, I'm going to be making a necklace. Yeah, I think I'm doing a necklace. Um, <laughs> whatever I'm doing, please come and join me on Monday. I'll be here 10 a.m. UK time. Uh, Patricia says, good morning to everyone. I'm really late, love them, but she's got all four sets and she's going to watch back. As soon as I go now, my lovely, you'll be able to re-watch the video. Ruth, you're very, very welcome. Give us a like, a love, a thumbs up, subscribe if you can. And make sure that you're, you know, you're here with us and you don't miss anything that we do in our tutorials. Mina says, I love these. I always struggle with loops. They're dead easy. Literally just turn it and knock it back into position. Um, thank you so much, Nerd. Ninda, I think I'm pronouncing your name awfully wrong. I do apologise, but thank you so much. Camille says, they're lovely, my dear. Thank you. Have a lovely Mother's Day to everybody who's celebrating this Sunday and take care. Um, Oh, Christy, stop it. I've been doing really well to so stop myself crying. Stop being so lovely to me. Joanne says, um, these look fun and versatile. Have a great day. Lucy, I don't know how it's Friday again today. I can't answer that question, my love. I think it's Thursday. Is it Thursday? I mean, if you're here with me, it's got to be Friday. Thank you, Ruth. She's saying, click the like button. Can I 
show you that one yeah thank you very very much uh, linda you are most welcome she says thanks again for a wonderful tutorial and as does tracy so have a lovely weekend whatever you're doing stay making stay beading and have a lovely lovely weekend and i'll see you next week take care everybody